The Turtle Room. Education, Conservation, Survival. In 1999, you're part of an infamous deal that involved turtles. I'm sorry in advance for asking. Uh, Fly rubber turtles? Wondering, I was wondering what the species was because in everything that I read, I could not find it. And I All was right. Wondering if Here's what happened. A guy named Katamano came into the United States from Japan with a hundred small four-inch snake uh, fly river turtles. He also brought in uh, uh, Chaladina, what is it, Seben, Seben Rocky? The, the, but he brought in a hundred small ones, like two inches. He brought them through Orlando and he actually declared them, but there's no Fish and Wildlife Service there, so Customs just gave him a clearance with a piece of paper and he came to sell them at the shop and I said, do you have paperwork? And he said, yes. He handed me that, and I knew coming through Orlando he didn't, so technically I knew that they were illegal. He got by with it, you know? So I bought the turtles. Why not? It doesn't, I mean, they're small turtles, and even if they had been poached, there are baby turtles. If you take baby anything, you very seldom make any impact on the big ones. It's when you take the adult breeders that it becomes not sustainable, mm -hmm. and not for long either. You won't, if you take breeder, big breeding turtles out of anything, they take so long, most of them, to, right. to catch back up again. You can't do that, but if you harvest the young. A high majority of the young never make it to adult size anyway, so it has very little effect on the adult population. So I, so I bought them all. And of course that later on made a big deal and Catamano got caught in trouble for it and all the other crap that goes along with the stupidness. Uh, so was it illegal? Yes, it was. Did I do it? Hell yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. He had paperwork. That he said had that just from customs though, knew. just from customs. Right. He did not have a 3177 and he didn't have but they, they were, they're not CITES, so it didn't require CITES at all. So, but he, did, he would have had to clear it with the 3177. He could not have cleared the baby Seaman Rocky. He could have cleared the Fly River Turtles. I got charged with it, though, and the Fly River Turtles, they had dead ones, and they shriveled up, and they said they weren't four inches because it was like a soft shell turtle with a sh oh, oh. The shell on the cradle right. But But that's what it was about. For more information on this and other exciting colonian species, visit theturtleroom.com. Check back every Monday night for new videos from The Turtle Room.